Suno AI has 2.5 million active users and 20 million total users. What happens when a tool this powerful becomes so accessible? How do you stand out and make something unique? A lot of people, maybe even you, feel similar to Syndrome. And when everyone's super, no one will be. But I actually don't think it's that gloomy. As someone who's produced and written music for the past 10 years across multiple different genres, I've learned a thing or two about how to stand out. So in this video, I'm going to give you seven practical techniques to become one of one and to find your sound. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you the overarching concept that all seven of these come from so that you can start developing your own techniques. Let's start with the first one. Upload unique audio. Suno has been trained on a huge data set of songs, so everyone has access to the same sounds, but you know what it hasn't been trained on? you and the cool thing about it is you don't even have to have an idea you can literally upload and record anything for instance this <sighs> that has literally never been done before now suno has something new to work with and then whatever you got hit cover and do whatever style you want i'm gonna just grab a random prompt from the 500 prompt ebook because i don't feel like making one now let's take the audio influence to like 50 at least <laughs> See, this is a perfect example because in this prompt, there's nothing about it being glitchy or anything like that. And I think I did those glitches because of those sharp transients from hitting the coffee cup. So you can get a lot of unique generations just by uploading different types of audio, which somehow brings us to technique number two, the Mr. Beast method. Mr. Beast is literally the most popular YouTuber to ever exist. And you don't get that popular by not standing out. He said himself that the number one priority when creating a video is having a good idea and when asked about his process for finding a good idea he said something that really stuck with me you don't know what you don't know in the early days he would watch movies read the dictionary or use random word generators to stimulate his mind and to learn things he may have never been exposed to before but how does this apply to making music you ask well i'm glad you asked did you know that spotify has cataloged over six thousand genres. Six thousand. How many of those genres have most of us used in our songs? So the next time you go to prompt a song, try going to ChatGPT or whichever LLM you use, because I know you use one. Ask for similar genres to the genre you're making. For instance, if we were making a classic rock song, you could just type, give me a list of subgenres in classic rock. You get a big list of genres you might not have known about, like Heartland Rock, Proto Metal. What the is that you don't know what you don't know so the song that's in your head might be in a genre that you've never heard of technique four also uses chat gpt and that is inject randomness you can do this in regular chat gpt by putting something like give me a random prompt to generate a random song in suno ai do not use artist names and keep it under 500 characters and then it'll just give you a random prompt or you can use a custom gpt like the suno gpt that i created for suno which you can get for free in the link in the description and just put surprise me which will make it go into random mode and give you a completely random prompt what is zool jazz rock fusion i've never heard of that so we can just type that in turn the lyrics mode to auto and type Type something like song about a guy who wishes he was a fish. I wish I was a fish. Oh yeah, I swim away without a care. No shoes, no shirts. By the way, Asuna I've gotten a lot better at writing lyrics. It's getting kind of scurry. And while things like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini can be extremely helpful, they can also be detrimental, which is where technique number five comes in. Write your own damn lyrics, cuh. Even if you've never written a song in your life, anyone can get started at any time because it's a skill, just like riding a bike, juggling, or juggling while riding a bike. And if you're worried that you'll write bad songs, don't worry, you will. The first song I ever released is literally Literally called Astronaut Wizard. And even Ed Sheeran, one of the most widely celebrated songwriters of all time, said that he has written tons of terrible songs. He also had a really good quote that stuck with me as well. This is a direct quote. Hello, governor. You have to turn on the faucet and let the initial muddy bad ideas flow out to get to the clean good stuff, right? Emphasizing consistent writing to flush out the junk and reach better creativity, even if early songs are terrible. Is a direct quote. But what if you don't even know where to start with writing a song? Well, that's 
that's where technique six comes in. And it's something I've used again and again that's helped me write songs I never even thought were possible. And it's called free writing. And there's a ton of different ways that you can do this, but I'll just tell you what I do so you can get started right away. Set a timer on your phone for five to 10 minutes and just type or write nonstop until the timer goes off. I usually just do this in my notepad. And there are only two rules. Don't think and don't stop writing. What this is gonna do is force you out of your day-to-day -day logical thinking because the goal has become to write a lot instead of to write good. And paradoxically, you'll actually tap into your inner creativity and come up with something you would have never have thought of otherwise. And before I give you the overarching concept that ties this all together, let's talk about the final technique, experimental meta tags. I don't know if you knew this, but there is no master list of meta tags. Suno AI has never released anything telling us which ones work and which ones don't. And I don't think they even know. We're just out here in the dark trying things and hoping that they work. And sometimes they do. For instance, I found tags like crowd cheering or live performance actually do work most of the time to create a song that sounds like it's performed live. So go crazy. Try weird like guitar breaking or angelic drum destruction probably aren't the best examples but you know what i mean but what all of these techniques really boil down to is just two words lateral thinking which google defines as the solving of problems by an indirect and creative approach but i like to just call it creating out of the corner of your eye or developing what you can't quite see yet your best ideas are already out there but they're better than what you currently think is possible so in my opinion the only way to find those ideas is by doing it by accident. This all sounds a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but I really do believe that by creating out of the corner of your eye, you will start to make more unique and better songs because your sound isn't something that you find. It's something you create and discover through repetition of the creative act. And if there's anything else you want to know about Suno AI, let me know down in the comments or me and my cousins going to pull up in a four-wheeler all stacked together and race your father and win and humiliate him at Christmas dinner.